Parkston just recently passed a $15 minimum wage for our city employees, uh, which we felt was really important. You know, our public works uh, employees had made around um, low below the livable wage here in Atlanta, and uh, we were. Um, it's important for us to uh, to keep and retain good quality employees, and we want to be competitive in the increasingly competitive uh, job market. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to raise the wage for all city businesses um, and people in our jurisdiction, um, and that's because the state law preempts that. Um, but it's really important knowing that the cost of living in Atlanta is a lot higher. Uh, transportation, housing, uh, food costs, they've all risen in recent years, and most working people haven't gotten a raise in the past decade. Um, and uh, we feel that in order for people just to be able to pay for the, the basic things to live in the metro Atlanta region, uh, we do need to raise the minimum wage. Um, I have to say that our public works employees are some of the hardest working people. They're out there in the summer sun, cutting the grass, um, doing the, the gardening, doing the landscaping. And, uh, and they really deserve to, to have a, a wage that allows them to take care of their, their families and sustain a family. Um, and I want to encourage everyone to get involved in this fight. Um, we know that uh, the current minimum wage is simply unacceptable um, for many working families. And we feel it's important uh, to tell our legislators, to tell our city leaders, our county leaders um, to make progress on this. Encourage them to raise their minimum wages for their employees, but also encourage our legislators uh, to take a real hard look and, um, and raise the minimum wage here in Georgia.